Hey guys, going with Thermal Traders. It's Tuesday, August 27, 2019. Quick recap for today. Market's been really tough the past two days. Yesterday, um, <clears throat> I was gonna do a recap. I got busy with my son. I got chopped up in the open. I think I spoke to a dozen people one-on-one -on -one over the phone or with text messages yesterday, and I think every single one of them got chopped up. It was tough. Andrew traded the T-VIX and was successful, but that's the nature of a uh, volatile market can get you chopped up in trades with the TVIX with a volatility uh, ETF can it move right. He doesn't usually trade that. He picked a good day to do it. So yesterday I had a nice run in the afternoon. Things cleaned up after the morning and kind of dug myself out of a hole and had a nice day. Today it was pretty close to the same thing. Actually, I went from slightly up, slightly down to up to a little bit down to just about break even and then one good trade and that took care of it. So patience is the name of the game this week. Um, Momo looked really strong out of the gate. It was gapping up a little bit. It's part of our uh, pre-market show that we did. We called it out. And so I took it long right here. It was around 34.13. Above all these moving averages and VWAP, VWAP was rising. Um, it was right at the open I took it. Took a partial as it popped through 35. The stock doesn't trade especially well, at least to me. I'm not a big fan. It's a, it can get the spread can get a little wide at times and it can jump around a little bit. But it looked like it was going to be strong enough to hold 35. It couldn't once it broke VWAP. I went I got out of it. Uh, it looked like it was going to hold VWAP and go to high a day again. So I gave it a shot and got out of break even. I didn't like the price action, kind of like I'm describing, and it was getting worse at times. And then a little bit later, um, came back, see it came off below VWAP. Then it had the 50 on the two uh, moving average that was sloping up and I saw it was respecting it pretty well in here. And also on the five, I had the 20 and it was respecting that. So between those, and it also had the moving average on the nine, the nine on the 15 down here that it was respecting as well. So I gave it a shot, see if it could get back to VWAP. Um, it, it, I wasn't going to give this much room. This moving average, if it lost this, it was going to it was going to tank for another forty cents at least or so. So um, let it run. I didn't really partial in here because it looked pretty strong the whole time. It never tested my entry. I didn't take a big size on it or anything. Ran through VWAP. Started looking weak once it got up here to thirty five, and I worried that that thirty five was just going to be the top on it. So I got all out around thirty four eighty two ish. Um, so I made a few dollars on that one, not too bad. Uh, NVIDIA, this was kind of just a bonehead trade. <clears throat> Looked like it was bottoming out here to me. It ended up not being, I got stopped out pretty quickly. Um, ATVI, some of the traders in the room had been trading ATVI. It looked like it was trying to reverse here. This wasn't as great of a setup. Um, so it, it looked, it crossed this moving average, looked like it was going to hold it. I took it and it didn't look right. So I got out of that one. Glad I did because it dumped. Uh, plan. This looked like it was going to double bottom, had a real tight stop, low a day, got out of it. There was a little bit of slippage on this because this could actually, this one actually uh, got uh, spready as well at times. And then the one trade that made my day, you can see I, I poked around and tried to trade Roku earlier, which was moving sideways. So I was roughly break even on it. Um, <clears throat> just wasn't, wasn't a fantastic trade. Wasn't a great time to trade at that point till a little bit later in the day. And I saw this hammer form on the two came and tried the nine moving average. This time, this candle before, <clears throat> where it shot up, uh, it, it was the closest it had been to the moving average, the 20 up here in quite some time. So it, it did that pull back. I waited for a little bit of a pullback. I saw it held the low of this candle. So I took it long here in two pieces. And then we started getting our run. Took a bit off as it got to 142.50. As it went through 142.50, took some off, took some off above previous day close. This one was yesterday's high, so I took some off there. Um, and then as it busted through 143.50, the half number I took a little bit off, 
the momentum slowed for a second. And then I finally took my last piece off right here, just below VWAP, 144.82-ish. So, um, you know, ended up being a nice $3 trade. I'll take that all day long. Finally can call it a day and uh, be done. So anyway, thanks for watching. Trade safe, and I'll see you in the chat tomorrow morning.